Hi guys, this is the cool down for Unit 3, Lesson 10. Number 1, we have two holes minus 5, 6. So the first thing you need to do is find an equivalent fraction. Both of these numbers need to be in sixths. So I'm going to think to myself, how many sixths are in two holes? I know six sixths are in one hole, so if I have two holes, I would have twelve Six. So two holes is equivalent to twelve six. Now I have the same denominators, so I can just subtract my numerators. I know twelve minus five is seven, and I keep my denominator. So seven six is the answer. I could go one step further and make an equivalent fraction. So if 6 6 are in one hole and I have 7 6, 6 of those would be one hole and I'd have 1 6 left over. So the answer to number 1 could be 7 6 or 1 and 1 now let's look at number two. We have four holes minus eleven sixths. Again, I need to make equivalent fractions. Since this fraction has a six for a denominator, I'm going to think how many six are in four holes. Okay, six six are in one hole. So there's one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes. So four times six, guys, is twenty-four. So four holes equals twenty-four six. Now that they have the same denominator, I can simply subtract my numerator. Oops. So 24 minus 11 is 13, and I keep my denominator of 6. Now, I could leave it as 13, 6, or I can write the equivalent fraction. So if I'm thinking about 13 6, I know 6 6 is one whole. Oh wait. 6 6 is one whole, but we have 13. Oh, we've got two holes in there. 6 plus 6 is 12. And then I would need one more sixth to make 13. So my answer could be 13 6 or two and one-sixth.